Hello everybody, how's it going today? My name is Connor, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you kind of what I've been able to do with cat offs my operating system that I worked on a couple, I think it was a couple years ago now. Uh, or however long I've been doing YouTube. This is one of my first projects that I upload on YouTube. Uh, it's an operating system that I've written entirely in Rust. Um, completely from scratch. Just, you know, I've got all kinds of uh, architecture code in here and assembly code and you know, x86 stuff, and it's got all kinds of stuff, and I'm not going to go over this code today, I'm just kind of scrolling through it just to show you that I did write this entire thing from scratch. Um, if you want to see how I made this operating system, you can kind of check out my other videos on the topic, I'll put them in the description, or put them in the playlist. So, um, yeah, I wrote this operating system completely from scratch, this is all my own code. Um, and of course, I was inspired and kind of helped a little bit by other um, other projects, but uh, yeah, for the most part, this is all entirely my own code. So this is even before I started using GitHub Copilot too. So yeah, it's none none of this code is even AI generated. It's all just completely written from scratch. So um, anyway, that's besides the point. That's not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is um, how I was able to get Doom running on this thing. So uh, I figured the the standard um, benchmark for you, you really writing an operating system if it, if it can't run Doom, you know? <laughs> like, like it, it, everything runs Doom, you know? Anything that's worth a crap is where you can run Doom. So anyway, let me show you running a Doom. Um, so I can load the operating system here in the emulator. Uh, in QEMU, and you see, I've got all these kinds of uh, log messages on the side here. Let me make this a bit bigger for you. Uh, make this a bit bigger for you. There we go. So, you see, I got all kinds of error mess or log messages, um, just kind of as it loads the initial process, the initial shell. And you see, we have a do have a shell here. So, let's make this a bit bigger for you. And then, um, where I can what I can do is I can actually you know ls in this directory and this is just a regular you know Unix shell essentially uh, logged in as the root user except there's kind of no you know concept of a user in Catalyst right now but we're getting there we're getting there I'm gonna work on this operating system some more I think kind of add on to it some more um, but I can actually go into the uh, user slash games slash doom. And then see we got some uh, free Doom here, um, so I can run Doom generic and moment of truth. See it starts to run loading up free Doom. Um, this is a free Doom wad. Uh, I, I did manage to port this uh, the Doom engine uh, with some help uh, to my operating system, my custom operating system. I see it's running nice and smooth at about three FPS in the background, <laughs> but. Uh, you know, I can, uh, I can, um, it's like a difficulty and all that, just bring on the pain. And yeah, this is kind of like the free doom test level as far as I understand. It's not exactly what you would normally see loading into, you know, E1, M1, you know. But, um, as you can see, we got a frame buffer here. We got, uh, keyboard input. I'm controlling it with the keyboard right now. There's no mouse input for this. There's also no sound. Um, it's running entirely from RAM. Uh, no hard drive, no saving your game or anything. I mean, it probably could save the game if I really wanted to, but you know, I can shoot my gun and there's supposed to be enemies. Um, not quite sure where they are. I haven't really fully explored this wad yet, but uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys the capabilities of my operating system that I was working on for a long time, for al almost a uh, half a year. Um, about six months or so, I was working on this thing pretty regularly. Um, and I think I do want to return to working on this again, um, just because I've kind of been having that itch of like super low level programming again. Uh, I'm starting to take a course on Udemy where it's kind of writing systems level code for, and kernel level code for, um, for, uh, embedded devices like the Arduino or the ARM Cortex or whatever. So, um, it's kind of what I've been doing lately. Oh, how did I do that? There we go. 
for some reason, we never press space it, it just, uh, uh, pulls up the little text thing. But uh, now I got a BFG. <laughs> and the game crashed as soon as I shot the BFG. So, there you go. It's not perfect, but it works for the most part. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned for more Catalyst and Outbreak System development content, more Rust development content. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.